The road becomes particularly important to noir at a time when it was coming to dominate American life more and more. Americans have always had a very romantic sense of the road and of the car as representing freedom and autonomy, but the car itself is isolating. It's this metal box that cuts you off from other people and that induces a kind of antisocial, aggressive behavior where you see other people as just obstacles in the way of you getting where you're going. And with fugitives, of course, the car is their lifeline, but even as it's promising escape, it's also limiting their options. A car has to drive on the road so it can run into roadblocks, it can be tracked by the license number, it can break down, so it becomes this kind of physical embodiment of the fragility of the fugitive's fate. They Live by Night is just steeped in this wonderful evocation of the kind of roadside culture. And we see Bowie and Kichi on a Greyhound bus. We see them in this succession of motels and tourist cabins. And one of my favorite scenes in the movie, when they go and get married in this roadside chapel with this neon sign, and the proprietor is this kind of, of beady-eyed individual who immediately sees that they are on the lam and gouges them for, you know, a stolen car. So they're taking advantage of this kind of transient world where nobody really notices you, and at the same time, they're experiencing the pitfalls of it. Oh, yeah. First, you got to sign your names over here. 